Hello and welcome back to Factorio C Block. In our last episode, we expanded out or upgraded our uh, algae farming here to use the improved recipe, which only produces the green algae, which meant that we could then directly process this into the assembly machines and didn't have to worry about the brown algae, at this point at least. And we are now producing a bit more charcoal, which we are then feeding back in to make carbon dioxide, of course, but also using it for our primary uh, source of fuel here at the uh, at the burner generators or the, the steam generators there We also used some of that opportunity to expand our uh, Metal processing because they use the same material or the same fluid right now mineralized water as our metals processing is using So we have both of those kind of going together And I, I as I think I mentioned at the end of the last episode I wanted to spend a little bit of time improving the layout of this and I think I've done that I have two arms um, loading the algae from the algae farms into the assembly machines and if you notice this one is a long inserter and that's one of the advantages of the um, of Bob's adjustable inserters is that the long inserters are the same as the short or the regular sized ones and so they move at the same speed because they move at a rotational speed not at uh, not at a speed based on their length so whether you have it at one tile reach like this at 20 uh sorry at 90 degrees or you uh have it at two lengths here at also 90 degrees they move at the same speed which is kind of a nice little uh, cheat i guess for lack of a better word the way that, that bob offers that a lot of um a lot of the, the base game visitors don't offer uh so we have this going and this is making some fuel and i consolidated this into uh, one measure, and I also deleted a couple of these old plans uh, that we didn't need anymore. But I consolidated these into one plan, making uh, from the uh, mineralized, mineralized water and the uh, charcoal all the way up back up to charcoal again. And of course, there's a there's a loop here or a negative here. This is um, kind of the exact system that we have going right now. We're making a, we're liquefying a, uh, a little bit of. Um, charcoal into carbon dioxide and making it all into the things and now we have uh, a net of 1.72 i think 75 yeah i think it's 1.7275 uh net um uh charcoal out at the four megajoules uh times four that's just under seven watts and we know we're also getting or megawatts i'm sorry we know we're also getting 1.8 megawatts from this so we can say we're getting a little bit less than 9.8 megawatts of power possible right now which means i could expand these because oh i also i actually need to expand one of them uh because we do not have enough um enough stuff i meant to probably make that and didn't uh so we could actually expand power by another couple of these i think um Let's see, that'll put us at nine. Not a whole lot more, actually. Uh, we're no, actually that's we're actually already there. We actually can't sustain these at full full tilt. But th the good thing is we can just expand this, double, triple, quadruple it, however many times, and add more of the processing steps all the way to this, and then we magically have much much more um, power possibility uh, just by expanding the algae processing. So we might end up doing that. Uh, very soon actually and we'll also of course need to expand the electrolyzer so there's a cost always with all of this uh all the way back to to null which i should probably put in here by um detailing out this mineralized water into its steps all the way down to the uh, actual number of electrolyzers because that will tell us how much net power we're actually gaining from all this if we're getting just under seven megawatts but this is costing us 1.2 plus some then we're not really getting seven megawatts out of this we're getting five or whatever it ends up actually being so i should probably drill that down further but we're not going to do that on the episode today instead we're going to work on arboretums and trees uh you saw that i already have a plan built for this here um we'll take a look at that in a minute but we gotta go find some trees first because we do not have trees all the gardens we picked up are all just vegetables here or all contain just vegetables so we need to actually go up and find some trees i want to grab some this and i want to look at the map or show you on the map there may be trees down here um, gardens. Nope. There may be trees down here, and there may be trees up here. And we're going to go up there. I don't know if the blue means trees, so in that case, maybe there's trees at both. But I'm going to go up there because that one looks more promising. There's more stuff up there. So let's uh, do this. And I'm just going to do a two wide path all the way up there. The long 
Green Mile. There we are. It'll be the Green Mile. Uh, that's not the right island. And so uh, these islands, um, if we had biters turned on, they would probably contain biters. Ooh, there's a lot of fish there for some reason in that band. That's weird. Interesting and weird. Uh, so we found a swamp tree, a swamp garden, a desert tree, and another desert tree. Nice. Bots, you know your, you know what you got to do. Uh, wait a minute. Be careful. Don't pick up all those fish. You know what you got to do. Do your things. Uh, other bot, thank you. And so that gave us some tree seeds or some tree somethings. Trees, actually. Actual trees. And then uh, when this research is done, we have to make uh, some more buildings. So I think what I should do, though, in the meantime, is actually pause for just a few minutes, uh, moments rather, and come back in as soon as this research is done. Be right back. And welcome back. Uh, the research just finished, so we can take a look at that. Do I want to start up one of these for any reason right now? Um, I could, but I'm not going to because we're actually going to have to make some stuff, and maybe I should have done that before I came back. Although uh, we might have enough everything to do this without having done that. Uh, did I put the stone back in? I didn't. Oopsie. I meant to put the stone processing back in here. Uh, let's do that. And then we need uh, one of these, which means I need stone for that. Okay. An arm. There. We also need to start making circuits pretty soon. Because I'm having to handcraft them all. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, you make stone. And then let's go here into a box. And we're just going to keep a stack of this for now. I only have two. Uh, we need that, and then we need, um, we need how many for this? Oh, five for this. That's not bad. And then we needed, uh, one more. Come on. So we'll steal this, which means it's not going to get recycled, but that's okay. It's a little bit of a hit on our, on our ultimate plan there, but that's what we get sometimes. Uh, this here. I could have just done this under the same cost, and as I mentioned, I think in the second episode, oh, I'd had one. The whole time, I've had one. As I mentioned, I think in an earlier episode, though, um, they are... Uh, just like that, maybe. They're not, um... They're, given the cost difference, or lack thereof, I'm good with it. Uh, let's not put wood in there, because, well, we've got plenty of charcoal, and charcoal's a better fuel, I think. Uh, overall, I mean, it's definitely better per stack, per piece, whatever. But, uh, yeah. We'll do that, and what's gonna happen here is this will split them half and half. Okay, so now we have new stuff researched, and that's here in this one. You can see the, exc the little uh, exclamation there. Also, we never looked at all of these. Some storage tanks um, and the rest of those valves that we talked about uh, the last time. Yeah, I think the last time. Uh, so we've got a few new recipes. we got one for wood that uh, uses Tim Borer's saw blade and a tree. Uh, we have our specific trees, not gen generic trees, so we'll have to figure that part out. Um, and then we have uh, Tim Borer's saw blade. Uh, that we can make out of iron. We'll have to make some of those. We'll have to actually automate those at some point. Tree seeds and trees. Uh, that we can make trees out of tree seeds in an arboretum. And then we can also use water and soil to generate tree seeds. Uh, these seeds that we have actually don't do anything. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Because we need to have... We need to have trees in order to make the tree seed generators. So let's do a temperate tree, I think. We need five stone bricks, two circuits. Enough stuff for two circuits, I should say. Uh, what don't I have for the circuits? Maybe I have it. I just won't be able to make them yet. Uh, yeah, I got plenty of circuit stuff. Make a few of those. Uh, did I have enough of these yet? Negative. Okay, let's turn that slightly. Uh, maybe I'll actually just toss these in there and not bother with the turning it part. Because we can um, turn them into bricks. Yeah, let's make a temperate tree seed generator. And that'll make a tree. Uh, no, sorry, that'll make tree seeds from... Um, but we used a tree to make the generator. That'll make tree seeds out of um, soil and water. Let's, let's look at the soil recipe. There's two of those, mud and compost or sand and compost. We're going to start with the mud one. Uh, we're just going to split off of this for right now and use some of this mud 
instead of letting it all go to the landfill. Uh, eventually we'll need to expand this as well. Uh, we can get sand, though, from something or other uh, with related to that same process, that same tree. Uh, sand is gotten from thin mud water, which is, I believe, what comes out of the second to last one here. Uh, yes, thin mud water. Sand can be gotten from this one, which means less of the thin mud water goes into making more mud and saline water, which is probably the better option. Uh, but for right now, we're going to start with a... Um, uh, sand, and then we, we can do some math, or with the mud one, since we have it already and it's already figured out, and we can look at maybe the math later to see which one is better. And it might change one way or the other, uh, back and forth. So let's take a look at this plan. We need one assembly machine constantly processing those uh, trees into wood. We need the saw blades for that. We need a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of saw blades being made, because they are returned at a 90% rate. 90%? Yeah, 90% rate. So uh, that's that's kind of a, a good thing there uh, that we get we do get some back. Um, and then we need to have basically four arboretums. I knocked it down a little bit so that we only had one of these. Uh, if we went up a little bit more, if we, if we target a little bit more wood, we could use four of these exactly, one of those exactly. This is an exact one to four ratio. But then we would need more of the assembly machines actually processing it. We'll round up later, but for right now, I think we'll just we'll just put down four and one, but we're only going to have one of these. Um, obviously, you can't put down a fraction of a thing. And then we also then need the same amount of assembly machines making mud that goes into this combination. And it happens to be the exact same com same number as this, even though these go into uh, all of these things, including the uh, seed generator. So let's, um, let's make a few buildings. I don't know if we have all the stuff we need for the buildings that are not nowhere near close. Uh, we need lots and lots and lots of bricks. So what I'm going to do is pause again, and then we'll come back in the time... Uh, once I have all of those buildings made and we're ready to go and we'll put out uh, probably over here a new area making a uh, tree or making wood and we'll do that in a little bit and welcome back we have all the things made I think now and so we can go ahead and get started laying out this uh, wood factory yes I called it a wood factory okay so we're definitely gonna need a few assembly machines uh, making, I'm just going to put one down, making soil. That's going to need mud from this line as well as it will need this uh, compost, which we're going to have to start making some more brown algae. And we might end up doing that either, uh, probably in the next episode. We'll see how this goes. Uh, but that there, and then we need to um, use the temperate tree seed generator. This takes in water plus that and produces tree seeds. And then we can use four of these uh, arboretums, which will take the mud and the tree seeds and some more water and make trees. And then we can finish off with, largely speaking, just one of these making wood. And we also will need to have one of these occasionally making saw blades. Um, and very occasionally making saw blades. I could buffer them into a box... Um, but we're going to have to do a little bit of a loop thing here, I think, because these are going to require saw blades. They're going to return saw blades, and then we're going to have to manage all of that. So we're going to have to figure out a little bit of a loop system here. Uh, what I'd like to think do is do this kind of just in a linear fashion. I probably should have made some more belts, though. I just realized I don't have any belts. Let's grab some iron. Glad I didn't do any research while we were gone, because I could really use this iron right now uh, to make some more belts. And I think it's probably t close enough to time to add some more of these uh, electrolyzers, too, because we're going to need a few more to keep up with what we need for the um, for the metal as well as the, the uh, algae. Uh, but enough of that. Uh, let's do this here. Uh, just four of them in a row, so we're probably going to need a little bit more land over here. So add, add just a little bit more. It's fine. Perfect. I have five left. We're, we are constantly making it. There's, there's another 177 in the box, but still... And then we'll throw these down there. So we're kind of in a line. I want to do a... Um, oh, maybe I should do this on the bottom instead. Yeah, let's do this pipe on the bottom instead. Uh, we'll do a pipe across the bottom, which I have stone or uh, copper pipes. I'll go ahead and use the stone ones we've got, just because they've got just about the right number there. Oh, man, was that close or what? Uh, but I don't want to make any more stone pipes, just because stone uses stone bricks and it's a pain in the neck. Whereas, at least so far, we have a ridiculously excessive amount of copper compared to the iron. Uh, because I have a couple hundred here in my inventory, and we have 190 in there. So I think I'm going to make copper pipes from now on. 
for these, I just want to put them in a row of some kind, uh, four of them. We can, I guess, pan that out for now and uh, figure out how we want to lay, lay that out later. And then these guys. So what I want to do is I want the mud to come in on a belt uh, here-ish. One of the things I wish with these machines is that they were I.O. ports. Because then I could daisy chain them together like this and it would make my life a lot easier. But I'm sure that's the part of the puzzle that... Um, I guess this is Angels. Isn't this Angels? I assume this, is Angel, this part is Angels. Angels bioprocessing. Yeah. I'm assuming that uh, this is something that, that the Angels team has really uh, wanted to troll us on. So we'll do that. Uh, this will output... Uh, the tree seeds uh, this way, maybe. Uh, we could also do maybe the the right outserters. Uh, we're going to need to output four every 15 seconds divided by half speeds. Of, or four every 30 seconds, which actually we won't need to um, output more than more than one uh, outserter on, so that's fine. I should probably also have made some more of those. There we go. A few more of those. Uh, maybe some more belts then, too. And then this belt's going to go along all the way over to there. Uh, the, the thing that I don't like is this is going to this is going to back up, which means that these may not be immediately attainable. But I guess that's which kind of what we got to live with. Then I want a belt coming back that's going to have um, the uh, trees on it on one side of the belt, and then we'll put the um, saw blades on the other side of this belt somehow, some way, which may be just doing it like this. I have to think about this for just a little bit before we do that, because I also need this to loop properly. So that this thing can output the saw blades before this one can put them back on. Uh, so let's do maybe that, and then... Maybe I could even just do them... Like this. Actually, that would work. Uh, if, if I'm imagining it correctly, that would work. If not, well, then, you know. Uh, so maybe we share with this pump, because this pump's not using hardly any. Uh, you can see it's spike, but it, we're only using... Well, I guess we can figure out how much mud we're using. Uh, how much water we're using for this mud, that is. Uh, we are using just under 75 of 1,200. So let's line this up with that pump. But also, we need to get these guys in there. Maybe these guys just go... Maybe they just kind of hang out still right here. Uh, I want them away a little bit because we're going to have to figure out the brown algae part. Uh, so let's go just away a little bit like that. And then we can do this lined up with that. Let me get myself through here. And go over here something like this. That's fine. Uh, then we'll move these over just a bit more than two. Uh, right in there actually might be really good. And then this belt can just go like that. Sit it like this. These guys are going to output one... Uh, every four seconds, so one every eight seconds because of the uh, half speed processing there. So let's go with just a single uh, arm straight like this. We'll take that belt out. We don't need it. And then these got to input two items in the same amount of time, which means that we can just do straight. We don't need to worry about it there. Uh, the mud, we're going to split this and bypass it somehow. Uh, I think maybe we could do something like this. Uh, G flip and do that. Do this also, which means that you're going to pick up a bunch of stuff, which is fine. Let's do a splitter here and the belt there. I need to make a splitter. And then that way we have um, half of it going there, half of it coming forward. And I might even do a priority output to the bottom on this. Uh, this I also want to pick up. And I'll pick it up properly this time. And let's put it for now right here. I think. This will come in like this. Uh, this belt will come in like that. And then... Mm, yeah, we could just do that, actually. Uh, this, for now. And we'll just dump all that algae in there. Oh, sorry, not algae. Um, compost in there. And then that can go like this. And that'll be good enough for now as well. Uh, but obviously we need to have things happening here. We're probably going to end up doubling this. I might end up just doing that off camera, but uh, for now it's fine. So this is outputting here. We're going to input here, there, there, and there. These are five, six, seven items every 30 seconds times half, so every minute. 
that's no problem. And then they're outputting, by the way, uh, four items in the same amount of time. So again, no problem. Uh, let's extend this out to a f uh, f double uh, or long inserter size. I uh, messed that up. Pick that up again. There, there, and there. And this might not be in quite the right spot, actually. So let's move this over just a bit more. Maybe... Oh, that's not going to work after all. That's not going to work after all. Uh, see? I told you that I needed to think about it some. If I did this... And then you guys went... Here... And you went over by one more, uh, because we don't have near inserters yet. We do we haven't unlocked those yet. Those come up soon. They're after this, I think. Yeah, they're right down here. So we're we're not far away from them. In fact, we could probably start doing some of those other researches we don't need just now, uh, just to satisfy this. Uh, we want to grab from here. We want to output the blades here, but we need to filter that. Oh, that's not going to work either. Then I need to output everything. And then feed the blades back in. Uh, right. In that case, we'll do this. We'll do another splitter. Because I don't have filter inserters yet either. Uh, we'll do another splitter here. That'll be blades to the right. This isn't going to work, Molly. This does not work. Don't do this this way. Uh, let's pick that up. Pick that up. I got to do it down... Here, I think. And then take the wood out another way. Uh, yeah, let's make one of these, which means we need stone. Did I put that arm back on, making the stone? I did. Okay, good. Uh, let's just take, like, half of that. 20, that, or 19, that sounds good. Uh, let's make a couple of those, because we'll need them eventually. Put them here on the toolbar, since I haven't put them there yet. And let's just bring the wood out this way. Uh, you, my friend, can go here then. I think your trees are on the top side. These need to be on the bottom side. This isn't going to work either. Oh, I just need to swap these then. Uh, yep. You go over there. You come over here. Maybe. You can go there. Um, blades could do this. issue is that I want these blades to be priority over those. Why am I having such a hard time with this? I planned this out. Um, you know what? I just need to do a reverse belt on these. And then... Get out of the way for a minute. This needs to go... here. These need to come out this way. Yeah, this is how to do it. Filter for saw blades. Uh, we could do the opposite and filter for wood, of course, but I'm going to filter for saw blades left. Those will come down like this. They'll get mixed in like that, and then we can just put these onto that belt. Oh, this will work better than I thought, actually. Finally, I have a solution that works. Uh, so then this will pick up from here. It'll output to there. And I'm going to end up expanding this. We're going to need eventually more of these than this. So I'm going to do this like this. Uh, I need more arms. Oh, no. I don't have any iron. Iron. 132. Nice. Make a few more of those. And I'm out of... I made some circuits while we were... Uh, I was paused, too. So as to not waste time. And, uh, yeah. We're back already. Uh, that'll go there. We'll put the iron into a box for right now and then that'll get made uh, this will take up the um, this will take up the trees and the saw blades the saw blades will come in on this side the trees will come in on this side we'll take those up as needed uh, the saw blades will get output here onto the far side of this belt which means that they will get put onto this belt in higher priority than anything put on the the right side of this belt because of the way the belt loading works and that'll be fine 
Okay, so that should be good, but now we just need a crap ton of power poles. Uh, you'll go here, here, up there, down there. I uh, probably could have done that better. That's fine. You and you need one up there, too. Uh, there and there. One up here for now. I don't know if it'll stay or not. Oh, those activated. Okay, good. Uh, this goes here, there, there, and there. I uh, can do that one. And then we just need to connect up this water. And do I have an underground pipe? I don't. Let's make one. I might need more than one, but for one for now. Yeah, I need more than one. I might need actually three. Nope, just two. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm just going to make some of these pipes just so I have a stock of them. Uh, mud I have in my pocket. That can go in here. Uh, this is now making... Oh, wait, you need mud too. Yes, you need mud too. I missed a step. That's fine. We can do... Really? I don't have any more arms. Okay. You can do this. Odd can place, thank you. And then we'll just pick up from there. It'll get from these and not from those, but this should be fine. Let's see how this works. Hmm. I have an alert of some kind here. I need more of these. Okay. Who's missing one? You were. Oh, okay. That works for me. Am I missing anything here? I'm missing tree seeds here. Oh no, I messed up. This should be going like that. I messed up the side sidedness of the belts. That's fine. This will clean up the stuff anyways, because that's gotta get made. You are finally making tree seeds. Excellent. And then you'll start making trees. Excellent. So those trees will come out in a minute, and then we can uh, we can grow some wood. We'll need to throw some iron in here. I'm just going to go ahead and give you everything I've got. You can make some blades, uh, and you can feel free to seed that whole belt that you can reach. I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, we should probably also make a couple more arms, which means I shouldn't have given away all my iron. We can get some more here. 36 more. A few more of these, too. Oh, we're at it. Because uh, I'll need it for copper, for belts as well. And this is going to end up making... What was the number again here? Uh, oh, not that one. 1 1.75 wood per second, which isn't a, a large amount, but it also isn't that small of an amount. We're just going to stuff that into a boxer right now. Uh, you might need more of the speed than that, though. Uh, this will make... This will move 1 point... Whatever 432 divided by 360 is. 1.2. So this actually is not enough. We'll need two of these arms, or we'll need one on a right angle. I think we'll just do the right angle thing here. Uh, we'll go here, because that'll be twice the speed, because it's half the distance, half the rotation. And that'll be fine. And we're just going to make a crap ton of wood here. And so you can see here that the, uh, the saw blades that come out of this are going to... Um, we haven't made enough trees yet, but they're going to come out on this side of the belt, which means they'll go here, and they'll back up here a little bit, but whenever this gets used, uh, it will pull from this side of the belt before it pulls from this side of the belt. So that's what we want to happen. Uh, you made four more trees, that's good. And these are just going to have to kind of balance themselves out a little bit. But as I mentioned, these four are going to produce just a few more trees than, uh, than this assembler can handle because it should really be like 1.8 something, uh, but um, it's fine. Uh, and it'll be like 1.1 or 1.0 something uh, factories, which we could add another one in here and do that right away, actually. And it would be it would be fine. But for right now, we're just going to do this exactly like this, and then we can add one of those in um, after this is working and seems stable. Uh, but this seems like it's working fine. All these are green except for the one on the end. It's waiting for seeds. Uh, it's just a matter of filling up the manifold. You've got a buffer of four, buffer of four, and no buffer. This one will buffer the next batch of four, or the next, yeah, the next batch of four, and then this one will start kind of getting some. And that's exactly what's going to happen in a moment. But I think we can leave this here. This this is our first foray into making wood. In the future, uh, we'll take that wood and make it into these circuits that I've been hand making, uh, starting with wood boards and uh copper wire and then making circuits we can start with maybe just like a three assembler setup 
each of the sub-materials feeding into one of the big ones, and then eventually do a balanced array after that. But that'll come in the future, as I said. And until then, in the meantime, we will uh, leave this here, and we can do some expansion next time. We can do some, uh, or we can do some additional, additional, um, additional learning and additional building next time. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.